This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. In Spain right now, the police are cracking down on supporters of an independence referendum. Yeah. And uh, the federal police are using violence against people in Catalonia. And I was curious as to if you were a representative in Spain and or if something like that were happening here in New Hampshire, what your response would be as a representative? Well, I guess probably it would always be to go with the constituents and the folks and what they want. But that would be a different country than Spain. Um, so currently here in New Hampshire, we've got on the highways the federal government setting up checkpoints and uh, they're stopping people just for traveling on the interstate and it's about even 70 miles from the border. And um, do, you, do you have any issue with the federal government's intrusion into the state that way and do you think that the state should well, be? Well, it's, first of all, it's an interstate highway. And secondly, they aren't just stopping people, they're looking for people that are in the country illegally. Uh, do you think that's a, a good thing to be going on in New Hampshire, or should the state be taking any steps to prevent the federal government from enforcing those federal laws which are unconstitutional? Um, well, of course, whether they're constitutional or not is a matter of opinion, isn't it? They've had checkpoints on the interstate for years. That's not the first time. As to what the purpose is does vary, but they have, they have checkpoints on the interstate going back for years. Uh, so if those checkpoints were to increase or decrease in frequency, there have been two that have lasted a few days in the past few weeks. Uh, would you take steps if they became a more regular thing to, to counter their, uh, their use in New Hampshire? If it was done to the point where it was infringing on the liberties of the constituents of New Hampshire, and that was clearly the case, then I would consider it. But at this point, I don't believe that's the case. All right, and uh, another quick question I had for you. Uh, I guess in the, on Representatives Hall, when they're having votes, there have been measures taken to prevent representatives from filming Glenn Aldris, uh, or was or video recording more, more, uh, more specifically. Uh, Glenn Aldrich is a representative who was video recording proceedings on the floor, and he was uh, prevented by doing so by the Speaker of the House. Do you think that's a, a good move to prevent reps from being able to document what's going on on the floor? I really don't have much of an opinion either way. I wasn't aware that um, that many people wanted to film on their own. Um, we are not supposed to have active dig digital devices. We're not supposed to be on our cell phone, et cetera. I don't have a cell phone. I don't have a smartphone. So I don't have any of that on. When I'm in, when I'm in that hall, my attention is to the business at hand. So I... I don't have much of a thought one way or the other. They are, it, it is filmed, not by everybody, so I, I don't know how to answer that for you. I don't have much of an opinion. Let's put it this way, it doesn't matter much to me either way. Well, thank you for your time, Representative Granny. Sure, sure. I'm available. <laughs> okay. Representative, a quick question. In Catalonia right now, the police are attacking supporters of an independence referendum. If that sort of thing were happening in New Hampshire, how do you think the state of New Hampshire should respond? Oh, I haven't been following the Spanish elections that close to now. Uh, maybe the answer to that. I appreciate the question. And uh, here in New Hampshire on the interstates, there's currently checkpoints that are stopping all drivers to check for immigration status. Do you believe the state should be doing anything to prevent the federal government from stopping New Hampshire inhabitants from traveling? Well, again, I'm, I'm right now I'm concentrating more on what's happening in the world of the I believe that was Representative Shirtliff from Concord, but I could be wrong. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.